the Rads, talking Rads. It's Monday morning. I've got a bit of a hangover. <laughs> I mean, fucking hell, what happened yesterday, though? Do you know what I mean? The Reds were absolutely amazing. The Reds blew Man City away. And if you can't go and have a pint with your mates after that, then when can you? Uh, the world I've woken up to this morning is talking about Liverpool Football Club. Uh, there's an excellent piece in The Guardian by Barney Roney saying we're literally the best football team in the world. Um, and I, f I find it very hard to disagree with them, to be honest. Definitely. Uh, I, I thought you were going to mention Rory Smith's piece. Have you read it? In no, the New York read Times. That, yeah. It's brilliant. And it basically talks about how Guardiola talks about Liverpool's, um, you know, that it's not just the front three that you have to worry about. It's these two flying, wing these, I think you called them symmetrical wing backs. Uh, that we've managed to find. Um, it's that we've maybe got the best defensive midfielder in the world uh, at the moment as well, uh, in Fabinho, who I think it was you who said it. Uh, I, I don't know if you said this in content, but you said it to me in the ground where you, uh, you laughed at Sunus had said the only yeah. thing he needed to add to his game and then he just wallops one uh, within the first sort of five minutes. Um, I think the, the, the term that Rory Smith, I wanted to steal it for myself, but like, I knew people would know why I didn't come up with it. He said that this, this football side now have not just style but substance to everything that they do. And I think too many times watching Liverpool over the years, you know, there's been the style there, but you know, the character hasn't been there. They haven't had the right mentality to, uh, to push through and push on. And this side just have absolutely everything. Yeah. And, um, I think that's the most exciting aspect of all. I think it was an absolutely brilliant performance and uh, if you subscribe to the Anfield Rapper, I do recommend the post-match show just for Neil Dockin. Uh, it was absolutely super. Can I, can, can I quote Gibbo? Did you see Gibbo's quote, by the way? Um, he said... Uh, he's, shanky uh, thing. Yeah, he's, <laughs> it's, it's poetry. I, I don't know if you come up with it just there and then or what, but he basically said that, you know, Shankly talked about building a team up and up so that they would have to send a team from Mars to beat them. Well, he says, bring on those wolves from Mars because we'll fucking batter them as well. <laughs> It's right though, isn't it? I mean, I think, look, you know, in all seriousness, like what I loved about the game is just how cool and calm they were and how they played the game. And it was like, you know, City were pressing us high, getting stuck in, high tempo, you know, came out the blocks. And the fact that we were moving it around them, didn't panic, little dinked passes, obviously the brilliant second goal. And it was just, honestly, it was super. Like, I, I, I don't normally sit there and watch whole matches back. At, I just haven't got the energy all yeah, the time yeah. for it, but I really want to watch this one. Yeah, back. the first half especially, I think, because like we saw each other at half time, didn't we? And um, like we were both like wide eyed about the, some of the football that we've watched, and like Trent Alexander Arnold was just doing things with the football that you know it wasn't just vision. It was it was first of all the vision to be able to see a certain pass, but then it's the the execution of the pass yeah. as well, uh, and it's all kinds. It's it's inside of the foot, outside of the foot. It's it's weird. It's lofted. It. It's um, it's just incredible as passing range and 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 the two fullbacks I mentioned them as being the symmetrical fullbacks. Well, Robertson's doing it as well, and if Robertson's doing it and he's switching it to Trent, Trent's pulling it out of the air as if it's glue on his uh, you know on his football, but um, just some. Just some like that. Just at, at half time, Harris, like, what have we just watched? It was like watching a FIFA simulation where you just you cross the ball over and they just bring it down easy in a computer game. It was just like that, some of the football. I think it was great as well from the midfield yesterday, and that yeah. you know, like, they, they've, cut, they've been much maligned at times, and you get these comments and, and, and thoughts all the time from fans saying, you know, it's not quite good enough, it needs to be better, and all this kind of stuff. Well, look what it's just done, and look how well they all played. And it was absolutely superb. And you know, Henderson's another one much maligned. Lovren's another one much maligned. You know, they were both brilliant yesterday. They, they got us the three points were absolutely flying. And what a time to be a red. Um, we've got we do these questions now. If you've got a question for the Anfield app, leave it in the comments and we'll answer it on the next talk on Reds here. One from Friday's video from uh, Adrian Jasso. Uh, how did everyone feel hearing Garth belting <laughs> out get in on Sunday? <laughs> I mean, this is what Josh has put on the agenda for him. It's, uh, you, know, you know what? It's, it, well, it's the first thing I think I shouted at you when I saw you after the game because it's just the first thing I think of. Um, yeah, I, I was on the, 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 the YouTube five minute taster. I was on the, uh, the comments of it this morning, and basically that's what everyone was commenting, just saying that they turned it on, waiting for the get in. Um, so, yeah, 
Uh, I like it, and it signifies that something that Liverpool, it basically means Liverpool have won, a, uh, won another football match. And if there are how many how many games are there left? We played twelve, haven't we? Twelve. Already? So we got. 26. 26. <laughs> okay, now. Doing some slow mads there. <laughs> <laughs> Monday morning maths with Craig Hannah. I'm busy. <laughs> Maybe that's a show. <laughs> write it down, write it down. <laughs> um, if we hear 26 more get ins, then happy days. <laughs> um, listen, we did do a post match pint as we, uh, as we touched on there. Um, we, do, we react to every single show. Every single show? Fuck it, Every single match that Liverpool play. Uh, audio, video, and on the website, theanfieldapp.com. Uh, so check all that out. And uh, <laughs> here's a clip from the post-match fight yesterday. I think it'd be very hard to, to, to single out anyone, really. I think every single player in red today put a, a massive shift in. Uh, they were throwing bodies in front of the, you know, for blocks yeah. and stuff like that. I thought, you know, the much maligned Lovren was, was brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely really brilliant. He was really brave. Throwing one block, which was amazing. Tremendous. Um, so, yeah, and as you say, City, any team, you know, particularly a team as good as City, they are going to have a spell on it. If they're getting beaten like that, they are going to put the pressure on it. It's right at Liverpool. You know, sit back and try and hold fair, and they did. You know, they knew that City were going to have to score three in about 20 minutes, and so that was going to be, you know, a, a really big ask of them. Um, and yeah, I just think hey, I'm just proud of every single one of them. But I, I'll say this as well: how great is it? How great is it when you're under the cost like that to have a keeper like we've got? Yeah, that's he is incredible. Just he takes is, the pressure off, doesn't he? He is just, he's a well, giant of a man. What about his balls Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. It was fantastic, wasn't it? I mean, you know, there's, there's outfield players all over the world watching that going, I'm gone. I can't talk that <laughs> yeah. in there like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And you, do you know your Fabinho point as well? I think people forget this. Um, you know, he's, he's gone in there and he's ran that midfield today. As you said, this time last year he was hardly in the Liverpool team. And when we went to City, in that one game that we've lost over since God knows how long ever in the, in the, in the Premier League, he wasn't playing. He only came on for the last 20 minutes or so, didn't he? And, yeah. and he was brilliant when he came on, by the way. He changed that game that day, so I think he made a huge difference today. Okay, so there you are, that was a clip from the post-match pint. If you fancy watching the whole thing, um, have a go of our app, which is downloadable on all platforms. Uh, you get some free tokens and you can click on a premium show and have a watch of it for nothing. See if you like it and see if it's your thing. And if you like it, subscribe. Um, okay, what else was good yesterday? I'll tell you what was good. Guardiola's absolute head loss. <laughs> Um, I mean, you know, shouting at the sky. Unbelievable! It was really good in motel. Uh, basically, like you know, we all went there for a bevy afterwards, and it was going off, and the tunes were good, and all the rest of it, and it was chocker. But also, they just had Sky Sports on in the corner, and basically, like every time the goals were getting shown again, everyone was cheering. Every time it's you shown Pep Guardiola going and doing his mad shake and his fist at the sky thing, everyone cheered at that, and it's fantastic because. I think there's an up look, City is still a great side, great squad, great manager and all the rest of it. But there's a chance here that, you know, they could slip again. You've got Chelsea next, you've got Man United to come, you've got Leicester to come. People keep saying Arsenal when they're saying this, but they're shite. Uh, so I mean I'm not too I d I don't really think Arsenal can take something off them. But the point is they've got some difficult tasks ahead. So we like, but I just think I'm not sure it's great. His whole thing, all this talk about VAR today and all this and decisions, marginal decisions and all the rest of it. Bollocks, we beat you 3-1, we beat you fair and square and you've got a big task in your hands now. And I think, you know, there's a lot of talk and a build-up to this, wasn't there, about is there a true rivalry between these two clubs and all that. And I've been having a good big think about that. We've talked about it as well, haven't we, on loads of things, not just on for that media, but other media that have come in to see us. And when I was doing my good big think, I thought, you know what it is, I think? Like, they just thought, we'll throw all this money at it and we'll absolutely dominate football. We'll win everything, we'll sign everyone and no one will be able to live with it. And we're living with it. And yeah. that's what they don't like. But I think everyone else thought that as well. I think that it almost feels as if the, like, the rest of England had c conceded defeat in that you know, they were going to be beaten yeah. by oil money and that it was going to be this, you know, now that Guardiola had, had taken them on and obviously they had the record season, then they went it back to back and I think um, Liverpool have come out of, not come out of nowhere, but they've built towards something like, like I believe that when Klopp come in, he, this is this is what he was aiming to build, he, he, this is what he wanted to build towards. He wasn't thinking, well, you know, City have all this money and, you know, 
FIFA fair play is not really working and you know now they've got Guardiola I don't think he was worried about that I think he, he believed in, in in his coaching methods and what he wanted to implement on the training pitch and um, the kind of player that he needed to sign um, and, and he stuck to his guns and, and throughout his time at Liverpool the, the, the decisions that he's made even when us as fans have questioned him throughout he's ended up being right for most of them and look where we are now it's incredible that it's, it's an incredible job and you know, one of the things that's been levelled at Klopp over the years has been that, you know, he's he's just a bit of a cheerleader. Do you know what I mean? He's yeah, like, yeah. You know, he beats his chest in the sidelines. Did and, you see him? And he's a cameraman yesterday. Yeah, so I'm that, not a yeah. clown. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the the cameraman was trying to. I think the cameraman signalled to him, "You've forgotten yeah, your three he, he, he haven't done yet, and he was like, and, um, "Get fucked." <laughs> and, 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 and it's this like it's this idea th in the past that Klopp was just this motivator that he was just this you know that would get him into the dressing room and, and let, be able to elevate a team with, with his words but actually it's not it's his coaching methods it's his recruitment it's it's how he's changed the culture within Liverpool and psychology um, as well and so, yeah and, and he's changed the psychology of a whole fan base never mind um, you know 16 you know 21 players in a, in a football squad so um, it's it's brilliant to see Guardiola just sort of breaking and and I, like I was laughing at him shouting at the um, like shouting at the um, the officials on the sideline and his hand shakes. Then, thank you so much. But then it was him shouting at the sky like he like he tried everything by shouting at the officials and then he's he's now shouting at God twice. That was twice. Do you know what I mean? It's um it's fantastic to see and I'll, and I, I reckon we all get into sound for that half-hour kickoff, Chelsea, Chelsea City, because if we've beaten Palace, it could be a, it could could go be a off. lovely one. Could go off. It's a great time to go on the aisle as well as everything else, I think. Um, I mean, Guardiola did say we started incredibly well. We showed incredible bravery. They are the champions of Europe, and it's the most difficult stadium in the world. We played like back-to-back -back champions. We cannot deny how good Liverpool are, but the way we played, the personality, it was good. Sam, but you got beat. Uh, <laughs> Klopp's reaction, that's crazy, nine points. You can't imagine that something like this happens, but it's not important because he wants to be first in early November. I do. Uh, <laughs> we want to be first in May and not only in November, yeah, yeah. And we all know that, but we don't have to say that because it's clear. Thanks for putting that down then, Josh. <laughs> Um, that was a real roller coaster. Uh, yeah. I was wondering where it was going there. Right, thanks to uh, <laughs> thanks to Tony Bellew as well for making me laugh yesterday. Celebrity Blue Nose. He said, uh, "Is there a, pa a parade tomorrow?" Um, well, I, I just wondered uh, have you gone back to 1995 when the last time Everton won a trophy? There's no parade, no, because you still haven't won anything, mate. Um, I, look, one of the best things about being this good at football and literally being the the the, the best football team in the world is just being able to take all of the things that opposition fans say on social media and the TV and in the media itself with a pinch of salt and have a big laugh at it because everyone wishes that they had a football team like ours at the moment and it's, abs it's an absolute fucking joy to watch them and it's a joy that, that they belong to us and not any of you pricks. Yeah, <laughs> unlucky boys. Uh, <laughs> listen as well, uh, obviously we are producing quality hungover content like this every day um, and we'd love you to... Not every day. Not every day, we're not hungover every day, come on. <laughs> come on, come on, Gareth. Um, but we'd love you to vote for us, is the final thing. Uh, in the FSA yep. uh, awards, not the FSF anymore. We've won those before, we've won a couple before. We'd love the hat trick. That easy to vote. Uh, it will be in the description on this show. And I think there's like a. Uh, Theamphirap.com uh, forward slash vote for Ta. I'm looking at Fuad as for confirmation there, and, uh, he, and he, he hasn't a clue. He doesn't. He doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, vote for us. It'll be on social media. It'll be in the description. Um, we'll do more coherent uh, content than this in the future. Of <laughs> the fucking rants. Yes. <laughs>